Welcome to the Jump Blues Show. I'm your host, Dave Zebarth, and you're tuned to WAYO LP Rochester. We have two special guests in our studio for our first show of 2017. Rochester musicians Ken Luke and Hannah Brown will perform music of Mississippi John Hurt live on Jump Blues. Hi guys, and welcome to Wayo. Hello. <laughs> well, thanks so much for having us. Um, we're really excited to play some of Mississippi John Hurt's music for you. And uh, we're going to start this off with a song, it's a standard spiritual. It's called Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Standing by my window on one cold and cloudy day when I saw that hers come rolling for to carry my mother away. Will the circle be unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by There's a better home awaiting In the sky, Lord, in the sky Our next song that we have for you is called My Creole Bell. My 
My Creole Belle, I love her well. My darling baby, my Creole Belle. When stars do shine, I'll call her mine. My darling baby, my Creole Belle. another spiritual for you. Uh, the song is called You've Gotta Walk That Lonesome Valley. It's been covered a lot. I know Pete Seeger has covered it. Lots of folks. It's a good old-fashioned Jesus tune. job both of you excellent Thanks. <laughs> that was ken luke and hannah brown live for jump blues and wayl 
Oh, I got her just when she was taking a drink. <laughs> Had to wet the whistle. Yes. Um, so the thing that I really love about Mississippi John Hurt's music is uh, the transitions between old time spirituals and really sweet love songs and really left field songs. And this is one of those um, this is one of those left field songs. So this one is called Candy Man. And it's about candy. Definitely. Or is it? So back to Jesus. Mm -hmm. We have another spiritual for you. This one is called, I Shall Not Be Moved.
The next song that we have for you is a very, very serious song. What do we have here? It's called Funky Butt. serious very serious song um, so the next song that we have is called waiting for you and this is the song that introduced me to Mississippi John Hurt and, and Ken later found out that the song was written for his wife which is sweet but also kind of sad you mean my wife <laughs> but I'm ch- Will you be faithful to me? Is your heart good and true? While you so sorrow and pain Darling, I'm waiting for you Because of your cruel 
ways I may never live to know Injustice to my true love I'll forgive you before I go Will you be faithful to me? Is your heart good and true? While you sow sorrow and pain Darling, I'm waiting for you Because of your cruel ways I may never live to know Injustice to my true love I'll forgive you before I go job that was live blues from hannah brown and ken luke the music of mississippi john hurt here on jump blues and w-a-y-o l-p rochester i'm going to talk about our kickstart campaign a minute and then uh, we'll say hi to the musicians and then we'll continue with live music i'll let you know that uh, we are in the tail end of our fundraising campaign it's an annual affair and uh, we're raising money for the lights and uh, the music licenses and the internet and the heat and the air conditioning in the summer. And that is really nice because it gets really hot in here in July. <laughs> um, so what we need from you, if you can, is a donation. Any donation will help us out. Uh, five, ten, twenty-five dollars, and there are perk levels. So you actually get a, a, a sticker or a CD, depending on your uh, level of donation. And to find out more information about that, and by the way, my goal is six donations, which would get us up to two hundred donations, or two hundred backers, I should say. So uh, the way you find out about that is wayofm.org slash kickstarter okay well uh i want to thank you guys thus far <laughs> <laughs> for uh, the great music uh that you play and uh tell me about how you guys met and uh how you discovered your uh that you're so good uh playing mississippi john hurt <laughs> it was a dark and stormy night 
Just kidding. It was actually summertime, and it was beautiful. Ken was playing in Mosaic Foundation, which is a local reggae band. They're amazing. Check them out. He was playing guitar, and their practice space was in a house in Swilberg where I was living. And so Ken would come over for rehearsals, and I thought for a long time he didn't like me. He still might not like me, but here we are today. Still make that public. <laughs> Ouch. So, uh, so yeah, we met, I guess, through Mosaic Foundation, and uh, we started playing music together, I guess, like, it's almost three years ago now. Uh, we're in a surf band, Pickled Brain from Outer Space. Uh, we play, like, instrumental surf music, so... We've been doing that, and uh, Ken, do you want to talk about what drew you to Mississippi John Hurt? Mm. Well, I took a class in college. It's the standard history of the blues class, and of all the musicians, actually Mississippi John Hurt is not strictly blues, but he drew me the most probably because of his gentle voice and the lyrics that he sings. So, yeah, I really grew... uh, really like him and tried to teach myself how to play some of these songs and it was actually Hannah's dad's <laughs> birthday. Happy birthday dad. Love you. That uh that was it earlier in December and uh, I thought oh maybe we can uh work out some of the songs and uh play a, play some songs for him and Hannah actually made that a show at a uh, at a uh, small world mm-hmm. folks. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah. So I guess that's how we get to this show yeah so ken approached me with a birthday present for my dad which i totally loved that took a lot of pressure off me this year uh so we have been rehearsing this music and it's been really fun ken is an amazing musician Uh, i'm still trying to figure out why he wants to play music with me because he's so talented (laughs) but here we are in the studio and uh, i shouldn't ask so many questions about our friendship i should just ride it out and go with it because it's fun so uh, when, when he came to me with uh, this music, I kind of looked into Mississippi John Hurt, and he had mentioned a little bit of the history and fo- folklore, which is pretty cool. So I actually wrote a little thing. Um, my husband says it's my Mississippi John Hurt essay. So uh, I have some details here just to, uh, to get into it. Mississippi John Hurt was born in 1893 on an unknown date sometime in March in Avalon, Mississippi. He started playing guitar at age nine, and that was because his mother had a friend who was uh, staying with them because the friend was courting a local woman. So while the friend was out on dates with this woman, uh, Mississippi John Hurt would steal his guitar and play it. So he became proficient on guitar. He started playing parties in the area. Um, I guess these were really like raucous, fun parties. Um, So he was doing that, and he was sharecropping, actually. Uh, In 1928, he was picked up by OK Records, but the album that he created was a commercial failure. So he returned to sharecropping and playing parties, and um, the record company OK went under during the Great Depression. So during that time, he was living his life in complete obscurity to the music world. He was just playing for local parties and, and working. And in 1952, an experimental filmmaker named Harry Smith put together a large compilation of American folk music that was recorded between 26 and 33. And the compilation has been credited with reviving the folk music uh, scene in America during the 50s and 60s. Uh, Mississippi John Hurt's song Frankie was included in volume one, which is the ballads volume. And the song Spike Driver Blues was included in volume three, which was the blues volume. Tom Hoskins, who was a prominent musicologist at the time, became really enthralled with these songs, and he decided he was going to go out and he was going to find Mississippi John Hurt. But he didn't know where he was. So he knew the song Avalon, and in that song, uh, it goes, Avalon, my hometown, always on my mind. Pretty mamas in Avalon want me there all the time. So just using those song lyrics and a really old road atlas, he actually found the town of Avalon, which was no small feat because Avalon is not included on a lot of modern maps. So he hunted this town down. He traveled down there. He uh, got to the town. He started asking around. He found an old man fitting that description at the end of a gravel road. So he went down there, he knocked on the door, 
Mississippi John Hurt answered. He was 72 years old, and he thought Hoskins was an FBI agent. And so there was a little bit of a commotion, and Hoskins had to convince Mississippi John Hurt that he, in fact, was not an FBI agent and was a musicologist. And after uh, they smoothed that over, Hoskins got a little suspicious of him and asked uh, Mississippi John Hurt to play some music. And uh, he was blown away because Mississippi John Hurt still had his chops. Uh, he's actually quoted as saying, I know how Howard Carter felt when he opened Tutankhamun's tomb and looked in. He was still alive and he still had it. So he, he found him, he swept him off his feet, he brought him uh, to Washington, D.C., I guess. Uh, and he performed in the Newport Folk Festival. He performed all across the country. He was on The Tonight Show. Unfortunately, he died of a heart attack in 1966, but he was back in his beloved Mississippi. So, I mean, his music is so influential. You can hear it not only in folk music, but blues music, uh, a lot of contemporary acoustic players. So, I mean, it's just really fascinating. This guy totally could have lived his life as an average show, and, and somebody just decided that he was going to set out and find him, and, and that's why we have all these great recordings that we have today. So, pretty impressive. So, without further ado, we can uh, dive into the next song. So, we have uh, this one. You're probably familiar with it. It's called You Are My Sunshine. Mississippi John Hurt played it at a folk festival. I think that's the only recording of him playing it, but it's a really beautiful song. So I hope you enjoy. sunshine my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are gray you'll never know dear how much i love you please don't take my sunshine away the other night dear as i lay sleeping i dreamed i You'll never know 
the next song that we have for you is called Hey Baby Right Away. The song is uh, pretty unusual. It follows some interesting timing. Hmm. <laughs> Blessed be the name. It's another uh, spiritual tune.
doing a lot of gospel music that's been fun. I grew up Jewish, so this is a whole new world for me. I'm really enjoying it. The next song we have is uh, called Nobody Cares For Me. from Hannah Brown and Ken Luke singing Mississippi John Hurt here on the Jump Blues Show. I'm your host Dave and you listen to W-A-Y-O-L-P Rochester. We do have a fundraising campaign right now so I'll be really short because I want to get back to the music but Kickstarter is at wayofm.org slash Kickstarter. Any donation will help. On with the music. Thank you so much, Dave. We have a song now called Spike Driver Blues. Well, John Henry was a steel driving man, and he went down. Lord, he went down.
last song for you. The song is called Irene Goodnight. It's originally written by Lead Belly. Shh, don't tell. But Mississippi John Hurt did play it. And it's a beautiful song. all the music we have for you thank you so much dave for having us on and thanks to wayo appreciate it well thank you i'm i'm thrilled and honored that you guys came so thanks a lot you're listening to jump blues and that was ken luke and hannah brown with mississippi john hurt music so let me start up my laptop did a great job both of you (laughs) hi mom (laughs)
to thank you for tuning in tonight to Jump Blues. I do this show every week, Tuesday nights, 9 p.m. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to have live music like we had tonight. Otherwise, I pick the best blues to play. So hope you check it out every week. This recording, as well as 70 other recordings, are on Mixcloud.com slash Jump Blues. Don't forget our Kickstarter campaign to raise funds for operating costs. You can find out more information at wayofm.org slash kickstarter. My name is Dave Zebarth, and I hope you've had a great time as I have. Sounds like Ken and Hannah had a good time too. So stay tuned to Whale for Al and his friends with Hard Rock Trivia. I'll see you next week for more Jump Blues. Take care.